where my mom's, where my mom's, where my mom's at. Uh, not a foreign baby at all, just an American bred by idiots over here. I just recently, <laughs> at age 27, realized I don't have to peel open tape on boxes with my fingernails and pry them open. I can simply use a box opener, scissors, or even a knife conveniently located. <laughs> <laughs> right you might be a redneck right, right. <laughs> <laughs> but who doesn't do that right where you're like ugh, ugh, you, i do it i do it i do it i do it too i just go like this uh, 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 and rip it and then end up ripping the cardboard it's so stupid I do it too. you're in you're in you're like in like idiot. kindred spirit company yeah. here Okay, okay. Growing up, I was never allowed to touch the remote or change the channel on the TV. Even if I was alone, I would just turn the TV on and watch whatever show was playing. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't until I was in my 20s that I realized I paid the bills in my apartment and I could change the channel whenever I want. <gasps> God, I think that actually is abuse. Yeah, that's... <laughs> <laughs> You're past the Bajinsky uh, effect there. Yeah, you were uh, abused. You should seek counseling uh, immediately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Oh, my God. Yeah, I think that's, uh, Samantha, you need to see a therapist. That's... <laughs> now, this is absolutely true, and I identify with this because I just did this. This is, this is, this. I, th I could have written this. I always thought only Prego or Ragu were the only pasta sauce options. <laughs> <laughs> A hundred percent same. Yeah. Prego and ragu, which are arguably like they're crappy. Yeah. But they're crappy good. It's like yeah. eating round table pizza and yeah. being like, that's the only pizza there is, is round table. Yeah, yeah. It's just yeah. shitty. When I, I didn't grow up with any Italian food of any kind. Right, so George, I, I had no pr point of view for any of that. I didn't even know what prego know, was. You have spaghetti sauce in Georgia? No, we didn't eat spaghetti. No. No, I didn't have Chinese food till I was 27 years old. What? I swear to God. You just eat fried pickles and... Yeah. What the fuck yeah, did your mom it feed was, you? I mean, I mean, nobody ate any of that. We got a splurge on Fridays. We got a Chef Boyardee make your own pizza. I love Chef Boyardee. And we thought that was amazing. But, you know, I was always at my aunt's house. My uncle Steve always had to have a pork chop. He was not eating any of that Italian food. Wow. And it's like Chef Boyardee make your own pizza. Come on. <laughs> wow. That was, that's funny that that's considered Italian. Oh, yeah. That's, that's Italian food. That's true because on the road yeah. um, in certain yeah parts of the country, you'll be like, is there an Italian restaurant around here? And they'll be like, well, the Olive Garden. And yeah. I'm like, that's not. Yeah, yeah. That's like saying McDonald's is like cheeseburgers, even though it is. It's it's, it's like yeah. junkified. Yeah, know? yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, when I started dating my wife, I was making pasta for dinner, and she saw I had Prego. She stopped me, took me to the store, and we got Rouse. Wow. Rouse is the best. It, it is good. And can I tell you, that one, Rouse, I just upgraded my life to Rouse about five years ago, mm -hmm. and I had to talk myself into it because it's expensive. Yes, it is. Rouse is R-A-O, apostrophe yeah. S, for anybody who's looking for a good... Prego substitute. It's so good. It's but really good. Yeah. It's expensive. You're yeah. gonna spend like six bucks or something on it. It's a, bougie. It is bougie. Yeah, <laughs> but it's so much better than anything it out really there. Good, it yeah. tastes like real, real sauce. Yep, homemade. It tastes yeah. homemade. So I, I did the exact same thing. Okay. Uh, hi, Maine mommy. I'm 22 years old. I no, 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 no. okay. I realized that instead of wearing mismatched, same colored socks, which is completely absurd, and Wait, used to leave me mismatched. Same, same colored, colored. Okay. meaning <laughs> like you can, like two black socks but they're not a pair they're not the same Got brand it. or this they don't belong together Got yeah it. yeah yeah i can simply dispose of slash repurpose all of my old socks that no longer have a twin <laughs> for years i let myself wear mismatched socks when clean pairs are nowhere to be found instead of hunting and hoping for a socks twin to rear its head i can just forget the little shit and move right the fuck on that's so true yeah I, uh, I, but I'm not super hung up on matching socks. I mismatch them right. constantly and I don't care. Well, I have a, a single sock box oh. in my laundry room and it, inevitably the other sock shows up like six months later. I have six no idea. Where. Yeah. And if they, if it's six months and it hasn't shown up, they become dog toys. Yeah. yeah. You know, you put like a water bottle in a sock and dogs yeah. are like, bring it. Yeah. They love yeah. that shit. <laughs> and they'll destroy it in a day. So. See, I've given up on my single sock drawer because we have that. And then it just like, it becomes the land that time forgot. Like yes. no one yes. gives a shit about those single sockers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ugh. Okay. 
I realized I grew up with a mom who believed you only needed the bare minimum. So for example, I would only allow myself to have one eyeshadow palette or lipstick or blush at a time. And I would use it until I was completely gone. I, I did that too. Mm -hmm. I did that for a long time. Hold on. Uh, buying new towels. You don't have to keep the same towel for years and years. You can open a second box of cereal before finishing the first. That's now that's outer limits. That's crazy talk. That's insane. Yeah. I would never do that. Yeah. That's you so wasteful. You may need therapy also. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why would you open two boxes uh, so disorganized? I know. Let's see if I have a good one. Okay. So when I was a kid, my dad would tell me I shouldn't wipe after going pee because boys don't wipe. And up until I was 15 or so, I never wiped after going pee. I always thought it was strange that my friends would ask me to get some toilet paper when they were just peeing until I realized I don't have to let the excess piss get on my panties and jeans. Who knew? <laughs> I don't think Bert knows that you can wipe after you pee. I'm pretty positive. <laughs> Because it's all over the place. He still sure. like oh, it gets awful. on his pants and stuff. Like he has pants. A oh, right, that yeah. wouldn't affect me at all. <laughs> it gets on the seat, oh. on the squatty potty, because yeah. we have a squatty potty, and yeah. I always walk in and go, "Oh my god!" But I get. How do you wipe that thing though? Your dick. Yeah. You wipe your dick hole. You um, just go. Doo, doo, doo. Yeah, you guys. How do you wipe your dick hole? I thought you just shake we it off. We don't. You don't wipe it. You shake it off, but older older men have that issue too, where you you need they to dribble. wipe your dudes don't wipe their dicks after peeing. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe you don't, but that guy does. No, 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 no. That was a lady that wrote it. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, oh! Because the oh, panties, I see what you're saying. Her panties. The were dad so. said. Yeah, I her, shouldn't wipe. Because her dad was used to raising boys. Oh, my God. And so he never knew yeah, that girls Yeah, this is child services pain. stuff, too. Oh, totally. That's yeah. a girl? Yeah, that's a girl. Oh, that's child services. honey, yeah. wipe yourself. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wipe yourself after. <laughs> yeah, that's bad. Moisture in that area for a prolonged period of time? Bacteria. Really no. bad. And, you know, I no, see boy, these no. chicks in my neighborhood. The, the, they wear the Lululemon uh -huh. athletic pants, the yoga pants, and they look great on these chicks. But I'm like, if you just worked out and you've got a sweaty cooch, yeah. you better take those pants off ASAP because you're going to get a yeasty. Yes. That happens so fast. Like that. I know. You got to air it out. Quickly. Yeah. Wow. I feel like telling them that, being like, excuse me. Are you airing <laughs> out your vajay? Because if you're not, you should. I'm new to yeah. the neighborhood. If you want to come over anytime. <laughs> take it from me, lady, because I've learned my lesson the hard way, right? Yeah. Like, I take off my workout clothes immediately. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I don't stay in them, now. Yeah, but I see these nasty bitches walking around. They probably them. didn't work out. You think they're, they're just wearing just, the outfit. Just being imposters and wearing the, the totally. little lemon gear. My friend and I talk about this all the time. She's like, I don't understand why people wear that as like streetwear. They know. But they do. People do. Where it's hmm. like, oh, I'm going to put on my workout gear and then never work out. That's so foreign to me because I feel like I look so terrible in my workout gear. Like it's the least flattering shit that I have. Like it's not, you know, I, I don't like wearing tight ass stuff. Well, I think it's about, for some people, I think it's really comfortable. It is comfortable. The pants are, yeah, yeah. if you wear something over it. Yeah. All right. Oh, shit. Yeah. Whatever. Oh, fuck me. Where my mom's, where my mom's, where my mom's at? Where my mom's wearing thongs, hitting bongs at? Raising kids, cleaning shits, need a long nap. Where my mom's, where my mom's, where my mom's at? Where my mom's at podcast! With Christina P.